Good morning. Good morning by nasties. Well, technically we're creeping up on early afternoon. It's still morning, technically. What am I talking about? It's 10 a.m. But I'm getting a late start today. I was taking it easy this morning, and so now we're going to get into it. Busy day, as always. When is it not? Um, I'm going to be filming color and chat for deco dolls and then I'm going to be doing some work in my sketchbook. I may start a new sketchy Saturday. I may not. Don't know yet. But I know for a fact that I'm going to be working on my Patreon mashup illustration. You'll, If you don't know what that is, I'll talk about it a little bit later in the vlog. But my Patreon patrons helped me out with that. So we're going to be doing that sketch today. Color and chat that and then the iPad is out because I am finalizing my new book. Now I'm trying something a little bit different with the formatting here. So I already anticipate the new book being delayed by at least two to three weeks. Um, no, at least two weeks at the most three weeks. But anyway, that is on the schedule for today. If I can get all of that done, great. I will work on one of my other brands, but priority today, today is technically supposed to be just an art day. So color and chat, some sketchbook work, new book work, and maybe, you know what, now that I'm staring at it, it's right behind me here. That's what I'm tapping. You hear that? We may work on the diamond painting, but probably for about 25 minutes. That's it. 25 minutes, half an hour tops. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with the day. Color and chat, sketchbook work, new book work, possibly diamond painting, and then that's all I'm gonna fill my day with today. <laughs> we'll see where I go. Let's get a refill on my water. I've already finished, I'm telling you. Got a late start today, I already finished my one water. You guys, I accidentally purchased caffeinated water. You know I love sparkling water. I buy sparkling water uh, weekly but I've never purchased <laughs> caffeinated sparkling water. Now, from what I understand, it has less caffeine than coffee, which is great, but um, caffeinated water? That's weird and genius at the same time. I don't, caffeine does not affect me, but the problem is, is I drink these waters all day long, so I might actually end up ingesting more caffeine than if I did if I was drinking coffee, because we know that normal standard black coffee doesn't affect me, but when we start getting into the Americanos and the Hammerheads, that screws up your girl. So <laughs> let, let's, let's, let's keep the, the caffeinated waters to a two can minimum, yeah? All right, let's get on with the day. It is that time, it is that time to draw words for the next mashup illustration. I will be putting the illustration, if I film it and nothing goes wrong with the filming, it will be up on the channel, but the people who get to choose the words in here are my Patreon patrons. So patrons, you will be getting a coloring page to go along with this, but for those of you who are unaware, for those of you who are not patrons or those who are new to my channel, what I do is I ask my patrons to provide a word whether it's a drink, a color, an article of clothing, whatever it is, 
everybody gives me a word, I throw them in here, mix it up, and draw words. Now if I pull out, I think this time I asked for a color, um, a beverage I believe, and a wild card. And the wild card means that the patrons can give me whatever word they would like. But what I'm going to do is if I pull one and it's a drink and then I pull another one, it's a drink. The second one will get tossed and then we'll keep going until we grab a drink, a color, and a wild card. I know it was a wild card, but was it a drink and a color were the other options? I don't know. It's been a while since I made the, the Patreon post. But without further ado, let's pick the freaking words. All right. So everything is on the little sticky notes, the name and the word. So the first one, and we're going to dig in here to the bottom. Oh, that's actually the middle, but whatever. Okay, we'll go with this one. Galit. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry, baby, but Galit. I'm going to say Galit because <laughs> I like that. Hedgehog. That's going to be um, tough. I've never drawn a hedgehog before, so ooh. we're going to try. So was that a wild card or did I ask for an animal? Who knows? Okay, the next one. Oh, I folded this one wrong. Um, kitty cat and color requested the color purple, which, yay. Not much of a challenge for this girl. And the last one is going to be... Sarah Lake requested book or books. So we got a purple. All right, these might be two wild cards actually. You know what, let me look at my Patreon. This I'm so sorry, this was disorganized, but let me take a peek at my Patreon and see what I had asked for. Because I feel like we may have to toss one of those back into the pile. So let's see, Patreon. Okay, so it was something that, what did I ask for? Um, an edible item, a color, or a wild card. Okay, so the color is fine. Hedgehog will be the wild card, and this was also a wild card. So, sorry, Sarah, that one's got to get tossed. We got to go one more. I'm so sorry, this was disorganized. All right, so the next one. No, that's another color. Demon Keeper Art asked for cherry red. Next, we gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. So we're looking for an edible item. An edible item. Lisa Marie Gale requested a guitar. Guitar's gotta go, guitar's gotta go. Oh my God, this is turning into a process. Diana asked for star fruit. We can do star fruit, that's edible. Okay, so we're going for, oh my God, this is gonna be weird. All right, a hedgehog, the color purple, and star fruit. What is star fruit, by the way? I'm getting in my head, I'm seeing passion fruit and dragon fruit. What is a star fruit? Are they the yellow ones? The yellow ones that are shaped like star, yes. I love them, I mean, hi, stars. Okay, cool. So, star fruit, a hedgehog, and the color purple. Hmm. All right, this will be fun. Thanks, patrons. And for those of you who are not patrons, I hope you're looking forward to these videos, my mashup videos, because they're fun. It is dinner time. I am on the verge of starvation and I thought I would show you guys the sad state of my life. Not this, <laughs> this is just my refrigerator. Oh, would you like a refrigerator decoration tour? <laughs> Not that there's much to say about it. Madonna Inn, one of the coolest, kitschiest, tackiest, brightest, most obnoxious places on earth. One of my favorite places, naturally. Check it out, the Madonna Inn. This is a napkin <laughs> from their restaurant, love it, Palm Springs, duh. A gift from a raven. My new 
well, my latest paper dolls for my Patreon patrons, a sticker that my Tiki Buddy gave to me, and a little lace bat. But let's let's go on into to see what we're gonna have for dinner. This. This is what I am having for dinner, a Red Baron frozen pizza. Isn't that sad? Listen, I'm too lazy. It's too hot outside to go get actual pizza. And you know what? It was five bucks. So for five bucks, it can't be that bad, right? Domino's Pizza and um, Little Caesars, don't they do five and six dollar pizzas? And they're not that great. So why would I go out and get a six dollar pizza when I could try this distinguished gentleman, and I could try his pizza. I've never had it before, so that's what we're eating today. Don't worry, don't worry, Gremlin. I will not be eating you today, but we need to handle this. So this is what I'm going to be doing as my pizza is um, cooking. I am going to be going through my markers and tossing out the colors that I don't want or use. Well, we're gonna be testing them all out to see what works and what doesn't, and then I'm going to be setting aside the colors that I don't need, and then I'm gonna be giving those away, so. Can we share a little progress report moment? Look at this. Look at her. Not quite halfway done. Almost, almost, but not quite. So cute and sparkly, yeah? Yeah? Oh, she's so cute. If you want one, visit my website or stop by Diamond Art Club. All right, Halloween is the goal. We'll get it done. We've got orders for three of my lives. We're missing one life still because she's not she's not up yet. Cat eyes and cacti, my personal brand. Ooh, let's hide that address. My personal brand. And this is for my, this is for my resale shop, thrift shop for spooky people. The one that is currently in limbo, skeleton closet. We're in limbo. She, she, we'll come back around to this one next year at some point. But Coco Naughty is taking precedent. But this is that little. This was the test for whether or not I wanted to open Coco Naughty. But we've upgraded to pink envelopes now so now they are on brand so even though i'm kind of kicking her to the curb just a little bit just a little bit that sounds harsher than it is but for the time being being sent to the back burner but we went through all 100 of the envelopes and i said when we get through 100 of them she's gonna get her branded envelopes now she's got them the pink ones um coco nani also has pink envelopes but they're different they are leopard print, so I don't know. These might end up changing to black someday. I don't know. We're flip flopping, but pink. You can't. You can't. You can't go wrong with pink. All right, let's go to the post office. I've been talking too much. This one right here has had it. <laughs> what are you eating? Sweet potato. Show everybody your disgusting sweet potato. Freeze dried sweet potato jerky snack. It just never ends. It never ends. Your girl can never get ahead. Every single penny of every profit that I've made this month has gone right back into that brand. So for instance, all the profits I made for my personal brand, right back into that one. Coco Naughty hasn't made anything, but my profits from my resale shop are going into Coco Naughty, et cetera, et cetera, that kind of thing. But then you get bills, which I know was coming, but it hurts. Ugh. Just to keep everything into perspective for you guys, being a full-time creative, it's the best, but also the worst. A P.O. box. Six months for $91. That means a whole year, a whole year, $182 just to have a stupid box. Okay, a box that I don't even use. Let me tell you what I use the P.O. box for. I use it as a business address for my mailing so that I don't, get any weirdo stalkers right so all of my outgoing packages go to my or they're addressed to my peel box so it's a safety thing which I would advise anyone to do if you have a small business or if you are considering it if you are as hyper paranoid about weirdos and stalkers like I am listen I've had some incidences so I'm I'm mm, peel box it is at one point I did actually tell you guys that I was accepting mail into my peel box but I stopped that I never mentioned it again 
and I'll get into that in a future video, but for now, just everybody wave goodbye, $282, bye! I renewed it for a whole year, 91 times two. I mean, it looks and tastes much like cafeteria pizza, but she's eating it. Hey, pizza is pizza. Salad and pizza, you can't really go wrong with it, can you? Hmm. Editing me here, I realized that I showed you all a clip of my refrigerator earlier on which I had displayed my latest round of paper doll outfits for my paper dolls. My paper dolls are a Patreon exclusive. They are not exclusive to any tier. Both of my current tiers get the paper dolls if they want to download them. But I'm inserting the clip here because I was supposed to make a video all about it and I never did. Some of the footage was corrupted and unusable. So unfortunately the video did not come. There will be future paper doll videos in the future, but for now, I just wanted to give you a little picky peek at the process of making the paper dolls. So I make the dolls. I have the two exact doll bodies that I continue to reuse. It's just the outfits that I, I create new outfits for the dolls periodically. And what I am doing is I am going to be creating outfits that are all themed around all of my coloring books so which if with each round of pardon me i can't speak right now but with each round of dolls the bodies remain the same but i'm reprinting them because i like to recolor their skin and their makeup and all of that but all of the outfits are changing i gotta tell you for never having made paper dolls before i made two outfits prior to this you may or may not have seen that you may not remember it was in a vlog a while back but those outfits went by without a hitch and this one was quite a challenge so I've, I've, I've got to tell you paper dolls are incredibly difficult I mean not oh my goodness it's not rocket science but it's just a lot of tedium and a lot of small details that you need to consider when you make them if you've never done it before give it a shot it's fun and it's a pain in the butt but look how freaking cute they are okay back to the vlog If you did not watch my previous vlog, I'm going to insert this here. I have finally started adding the illustrations that I mentioned in my previous vlog into my Etsy shop. I'll give you the super quick rundown in this one. These are all ancient illustrations, and by ancient I mean 2016 and older. Um, I am clearing out some closet space so that I can reorganize and just streamline my life as I get ready to launch a new brand and you know juggling all of my brands is difficult and I need the space. So I tossed out over 50 pieces of artwork but then I retained about 20 of them and I thought you know what these are too cute to throw away so I'm going to put them up in my Etsy shop for a reduced price if in case anybody has wanted an original and hasn't been able to afford one and they're looking for something to just scoop up easy boom all in 13 15 bucks shipping included all of that. They are popping into the shop. At this point, I'm not quite finished. I'm almost done adding them, but I still have a few left. And several of them have already sold. So thank you, thank you to those of you who've scooped them up. If any of you are looking to purchase some really dirt cheap artwork, all original artwork, go to my shop. They are available now. Hello, hello, my weirdos. Just jumping on here really quickly to make my exit end this vlog so i can get out of here i am actually heading out to the tiki bar if you know you know tiki bar grog log shenanigans i'm working through my list of cocktails so that i can be part of tiki history as a member of the order of the drooling bastards 
you'll hear more about it in the future, but for now, you either know about it or you don't. If you don't, it's not a big deal. You'll hear about it later. But that's what I'm doing. It's my weekly visit to the Tiki Bar. And just before I was going to walk out the door, I thought, let me tie up a few loose ends and finish working for the day. I mean, I'm gonna work when I get home, but just let me wrap up what I'm doing now and take off. And I hopped into my YouTube. And yep, yeah, first of all, yeah, I'm going to the Tiki Bar and we're keeping, look how casual we are today. Today's just a casual day. No flowers in my hair, no weird floral outfit today for the Tiki Bar. I am wearing bamboo hoops though. I'm not sure how prominent it is on camera, probably not very much, but they are leopard print. They're gold bamboo metal bamboo but leopard print oh my god they're so me they're so me they're so coconutty i will be carrying these in coconutty by the way so we're wearing our product you know again we'll talk about that later oh my god the bird walking okay back on track just back on track girl i hopped into my youtube you guys we are 80 subscribers away from hitting 3,000. why is that significant some of you know some of you don't if you don't know Years ago, when people started to request live videos, I didn't get a barrage of people requesting lives, but a few of my supporters, my ride or dies, were like, hey, are you ever gonna do lives? And I thought, okay, I have 500 subscribers. If I do a live, nobody's gonna show up because we all know, statistically speaking, if, if you have 500 subscribers, only one to two people will show up because half of those subscribers are not active subscribers, right? That's just how it works on social media. So I thought, okay, if I reach an arbitrary number, 3,000, I will at least have five to 10 people coming into my life. Hopefully, that might be a little bit ambitious, but you never know. That's what I'm aiming for, at least five to 10 people to talk to while I'm sitting around doing a whole lot of this. Now, why did I pick 3,000? Was it an arbitrary number? Yeah. At the time when people first started to request live videos, I thought, my channel has been growing so slowly. This is not my full-time job. This isn't even a part-time job for me, right? It's just a hobby. It's just something that I do to interact with my audience and to just kind of show people, hey, this is, I'm an artist. This is what I do. Hang out with me. Let's be internet friends, right? So it's just a little frivolous channel that I have. And so I thought at the rate that my channel is growing, I will reach 3,000 subscribers in five years, 10 years, right? Well, lo and behold, a couple years later, we are just about at 3,000. I'm good on my word. We will be doing lives. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been here, who has subscribed. Those of you who have been patiently waiting for the live videos, I hope that you are looking forward to them because they are certainly coming. Now, I've joked about this many times before that every time I say that I'm setting a milestone, oh, I want to reach a goal for this many subscribers or this or that, whatever it is that I'm doing in my life, as soon as I put that out into the world, I get people who unsubscribe and who leave. You know, it's the people who, um, I don't want to consider them haters, but it's the people who subscribe and who watch and who are voyeurs into people's lives, but who aren't really invested. They just want to watch somebody because they dislike them. But then when they realize that they're helping that person succeed that they dislike, they immediately leave. So I say that we're about 80 people away now, and by tomorrow, like clockwork, I generally lose about five people every time I mention um, a goal. So we'll probably be closer to, I don't know, 85 or 90 people short by this time tomorrow, but we're getting there. We are getting there. So for those of you who've been waiting, again, thank you. And 3,000 is just, I just, it, I mean, it is an arbitrary number, and I landed on 3,000 just because I don't like even numbers and I enjoy pointy things, triangles, stars. A triangle has how many sides? Three. How many points? One, two, three. That's it. There's no science behind it. It's just, I like the number three, I suppose. So that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to jump on really quickly to say, well, really quickly, this is about a 15 minute rant at this point. Thank you for hanging out, for watching the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Take a look down below. Everything you need to know will be down below as always. Be bad, be good. I do not give a damn which, you heathens. Just make sure you come back in one piece, okay? Thank you for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.